According to the World Health Organization, the World Blood Donor Day decries financial barrier to accessing safe blood. Now, every year, a special date is set aside in June for World Blood Donor Day, and this is celebrated around the world, or commemorated, so to speak, uh, around the world. The theme for this year, Donor Day, is give blood, give plasma, share life, and share often. And so, on this special edition that is dedicated to commemorate the World Blood Donor Day uh, on bridges, we tend to build a bridge where unpaid blood donors also contribute to save lives. And we are actually going to be celebrating a family that has been doing that since 2021, helping to mobilize and ensure that safe blood is available for use anytime. In fact, for this year, they are the crown wearers for the achievement of ensuring to mobilize more people to come on board and donate blood voluntarily. So welcome to Bridges. I'm Mujima Kojola and I'm pleased to be here today as we deliberate on one of the most essentials of life, which is blood. Now, we'll be talking about what blood does in the body, and I'm sure it's very obvious. Some of you know, some of you don't know. So be with us on this program. And uh, to discuss it with me today, I have the award-winning family. The brother and the sister are here, and of course, uh, every other donor outside there. Now, on my immediate right is Husseina Baba Inna, founder, Aisha uh, Abba Abdullahi Memorial Foundation, which is uh, because of that long one, we call it 3AM Foundation. And um, you're welcome, Husseina, it's good to meet you and congratulations. Thank you, Thank you for much. the good work. Towing in line, conveniently, is a, is a, is, should I say, Navy officer turned politician, now turned an advocate, all rolled in one. Uh, we have uh, Lieutenant Commander Ibrahim Baba Ina, retired. He was at one time gubernatorial candidate in Adamawa State for the 2023 general elections. And, uh, but um, today is on bridges because he's also helping us to navigate through how best to donate blood voluntarily and what inspired them, these wonderful family, to start that. Should I say congratulations to you again? Thank you very much. Yes, I'm sir. happy being here and I'm here to bridge the gap. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So we are going on the bridging exercise. So, Hosseina, why did you even start this at all? In 2019, my daughter, I was, my daughter was diagnosed of blood cancer. So through the course of treatment, the, in fact, the harsh realities we went to dealing with cancer and being blood cancer, the constant need for um, blood donations, the constant need for transfusions, platelets. Um, we had family initially, people coming to donate, friends were coming to donate. At a point we ran out of donors, we had to resort to buying. Okay, they don't buy blood, we had to resort to you know, paying for donors. Yes. No, not, not really donors, but paying for the blood. That is available. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the banks. Do they call it paying access fee? Mm -hmm. Because, of course, blood is life. We cannot buy life. Mm -hmm. So, because of what we went through, the constant need for that. So, unfortunately, we lost her. Um, same year, 2019. This November, 2019. So, we sat down. We said, of course we should do something. Let's keep that name alive forever. What do we do? So we came up with, since we don't have, of course, cancer treatment is very expensive. Mm -hmm. We cannot support people with that. So we came up with donating blood. Let's mobilize people, donate blood, and give out free to those with need. Because um, it's a terrible, it was a terrible experience. Mm -hmm. So that is why we are trying to bridge that gap. If we have blood in us for free, then why can't we give out for yes. free also? Yeah. I'll come up to you. Now, um, do, do you think that we have, in, in terms of creating awareness and um, in terms of policy, a deliberate attempt to stimulate Nigerians to donate blood? Is it, and uh, 
Well, those of the, uh, you give us your field experience. Yes, okay. Um, blood is life. Uh, uh, my sister here is a fighter. She's a warrior. The, she's making it simple what she has said. She really went through a lot. It's, she said it in less than a minute, but this was something that took place almost a whole year. So I'm telling you the pressure you go through as a caregiver, not to talk of the hospital, the family, the financial constraint and strain is really, really a big problem. So on awareness, blood, yes, the awareness, that's why the 3M Foundation is here doing that. But you know, we are here in a country that there's a lot of cultural, traditional and religious belief in not donating blood out. But a lot of people too are really picking up and getting it that this is really good, that donating blood can really save life. So it's a work in progress. We are part of the bigger puzzle. The way we are speaking with you here, she's coming in and others coming. In. Before we know it, more people will be aware and more people can start donating blood. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, share with us, how much does it really, uh, at the time you needed to spend money, how expensive was it in terms of, you know, accessing it's safe blood? And um, because it was a pi private hospital, a pint as at twenty nineteen was going to two twenty thousand was going at twenty thousand naira, while a bag of platelets, as at twenty nineteen was a hundred and eighty thousand naira, uh, but I hear now a bag of platelets is three hundred and fifty thousand. Hmm. Uh, can you explain to us platelets? So platelets that as it was okay. Platelets is a component of the blood. Hmm. Because blood is comp uh, comprised of different components. There is the whole blood, the platelets, mm. and the plasma. Mm. So the platelets is responsible for blood clotting in the system. Mm. So without platelets, an individual can start bleeding from mm. all over. So we need platelets to clot the, um, the blood. Yes, the blood. Mm. So during um, chemotherapy and all the cancer, mm. it affects the platelets. So there could be gum bleeding, mm -hmm. bleeding, if there is no platelets, bleeding from everywhere, which will eventually, almost immediately lead to death. Mm -hmm. So there was constant need to replace the platelets, yes. because sometimes the whole blood is not needed, but just the platelets, platelets. because there may be blood, but platelets is at mm -hmm. the lowest mm -hmm. level. So we needed people, one can conveniently donate platelet alone. Ooh. But there is a kit, a disposable kit that you buy for that platelet. So um, it's the kit that cost that very high. Mm -hmm. There was a point during treatment that we had to get about 10 packs of the platelet. Yes, oh. of the platelet kit. Kits. Yes. At that point, there was a day she needed platelet so bad that we were going around, there was no platelet available. In one of the hospitals, the platelet kit we had was not um, comparative uh, uh, with the machine mm -hmm. in that hospital. So that night, we had to call through Benin. You know, um, it was a terrible experience. Mm. So um, we thank God. We finally got it. They flew it in the following morning. So um, my point is, if you can afford to call somebody in the night, we need this and pay for that. But you can't get it immediately. So immediately Talk use. more of those in the rural communities, mm -hmm. those who cannot afford to eat. How can you afford it? Yes, that's mm -hmm. where I'll come to you. What, 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 what is this bridge that we need to build across board? So it's not just those who can afford it, but people, yes, at that level that she has spoken to. Yes, so um, the country, as we know, it, um, majority of Nigerians live below the $2 mark, and you see poverty, and we're among the will not say poorest countries in the world, but we are getting better. We've improved in the ranking. So there's a lot, there are a lot of poor people in Nigeria, and that is one of the things affecting healthcare funding right now. And government too has a part too to play in funding. And that's why there's a national health uh, policy that's, that's, that's coming so that it can really bridge that gap. But the truth is that we are really behind in it. And I think over successive governments have been trying their best, but we know corruption is is involved we know we don't have adequate skill and manpower 
the infrastructure is not there, the facilities are not there, and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which talks about good health and well-being, it brought out these parameters about universal health care. Yes, coverage of universal health care. So these are things we are really lacking behind, but the, with the 3M Foundation is also coming in here, partnering with government, with the Blood uh, Commission, service commission that they are able to do this and the activities lined up this past few days they are going to be donating collecting blood from different parts of abuja it's already happening in lagos and other locations so the people in the rural areas are really facing a lot of challenges not to talk about real, even the cities here too there are really a lot of challenges but it's work in progress and uh, we just pray it gets better well we now know what the challenges are access we have cultural barrier, we have traditional barrier, mm -hmm. and um, I, I mean, going forward, the next steps that we need to take as a matter of life, because let's see, let's say, um, I, I read here, and it's on, it's, I'm quoting verbatim from one of the um, uh, write-ups from uh, World Health Organization, which says, blood is a specialized body fluid. It has four main components, plasma, like you said, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Blood has many different functions, including transporting oxygen, which is so important, and nutrients to the lungs and tissues, forming blood cells to prevent excess blood loss, well, amongst many other functions of the blood. So blood, we can say, is life. Yes. So our next steps, what do we need to put in place as a country so that blood and blood components that are needed to save lives are always available? I'll start with you first. Yes, so we need a robust robust policy and we need, we have, we have all what it has to be done, but it's implementation. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of uh, cons inconsistency of governments whereby you, party A comes and says it's going to do this, but then another person comes and he doesn't really follow through. So will the uh, bill that has been passed by the National Assembly waiting for assent by the president, I'm sure so many of these things will kick, uh, will move forward. Mm. But it's really work in progress and gradually we will get there. But as usual, awareness has to really be high up. Sensitization has to be there. And then people really need to see this as, because we talk about blood, blood is life. No, everyone in this world has blood running through his veins. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that this, it pinches everyone out there, whatever is happening here. And that's why this World Blood Donor Day is all about donating blood. Every year the team changes, but it's all about awareness. The more people are aware, the more people will come and donate blood. What are the kind of issues that people raise when you uh, converse to them to come and donate blood? Well, so when we talk about religious, there are some faiths that don't believe in donating blood, no matter how they feel that it can be used against. I know some think about it can be used for dubious means, you know. Then there's the cultural part there too. That one too, there's a stigma in donating blood. Why should you do that? This or that. And then also so many, some people are not sure of themselves. They don't know what they have in it because the more you donate your blood, your blood will be screened and you will know your health status. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going through with a lot of disease and illness within them, but they don't know. But some know, but they don't want to hear that story. Mm -hmm. So they just keep it to themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's the sensitization and awareness that can that help us. Too. Yes, yes. 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 So what are you hearing too from, from, from the field that um, <laughs> we need to quickly build a, a solid bridge? Yes. yes, yes, yes. All that he said, awareness is key. Mm. Awareness because so many people do not even know they can donate blood because we go to communities we go to school we've spoken to religious leaders mm -hmm. community heads um a lot of people a lot of people are not even aware you can go out and donate bl blood even though some feel if you touch my blood you are reducing my health status <laughs> yeah so many because we've been to communities like we've had different we've had a lot of drives we've been to mabushi village so many people there, people were somewhere just so anxious, were eager to see, okay, let me look at those people donating. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, what is there? How do they... What, they, how, what happens yeah, to them? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of that, we need awareness. Mm -hmm. Awareness is key. Mm -hmm. And then um, the National Blood Service Commission, they're, they're doing a very good job in providing safe and good quality mm -hmm. blood to Nigeria. So they also need to be encouraged. What is the whole thing? It's all about the funding. 
as he said. They need the a lot should be put in place so that it can go around. As it is, we don't have NBSC in every state in Nigeria. Why can't we have that? There are people everywhere in Nigeria. So let there be um, organizations like that where people can just go to the office and donate blood so that they can also create more awareness, advocate for all the things. How come you won? I mean, you were crowned, you know, uh, the twenty two well, well, one of the 2023 drivers of World, uh, World Blood Do Not Day. Yes. Yeah. How, how did you achieve that? Um, we thank God for that. I believe it's good because I was also surprised. Yeah, but um, they have been, the National Blood Service Commission have been our partners. They, they are our technical supporters for all the drives. And we've had drives in uh, Mabushi village, as I've mentioned. We were at Jabi Motu Park. We were at the force headquarters. Yes, the Nigerian police force were really out and ready to save lives. They contributed a lot. Their officers were there to donate blood too. We've had drives at um, Women's Center, Women Development Center. We've had at National Mosque. And then yesterday we had our 2023 World Blood Donor Day at Wuse Market. Wuse. Where we had, yeah, quite a number of people came out. We had about voluntary, voluntary blood donors. Yeah. I think um, we had about 64 people donating mm. voluntarily and this is people that are not do not have enough awareness they do not know because first some, time first time that was the first time so i think we are doing a good job mm. yes and um ma i want to appreciate the international society for media of media in public health because it's with things like this that we pass the message the, um, this organization is indeed bridging the gap we need, if we can have more of this, I believe the message will be passed. Mm. What, what, do you do, what do you think people are most skeptical about donating blood freely? Trust issues, once again, That's people, it. yes, it's just trust issues. And, you know, people, sometimes you don't want to donate this blood, but until when a crisis comes up, you now know the real value of mm. donating that blood. Mm. You get to the hospital, you see a lot of people running up and down. Because of women delivering, you must have blood standby mm -hmm. for a woman delivering. Accident victims, you hear people calling you, they are looking for type A, they are looking for negative or negative or positive. Or then you see on Twitter or Instagram, someone said they need someone to donate blood. Someone is really in a tight mm -hmm. situation. So it's until when a crisis comes, that's when you really see the need for blood donation but that's why we are here bridging the gra gap yeah. we are here getting people to donate this blood and working with the commission so that we have blood ready because safe. yes safe blood because there's a lot that goes into the blood there's a lot of screening too because some of the blood that is collected is not safe and the world health organization to analyze something like that that most of the blood collected in nigeria some are not safe yes because people don't really know what's happening and that's why the screening takes place and that's also why the cost of the blood is a little bit expensive. expensive. Yes. So in totality, what are we talking about now? We're saying that um, going forward, how many times can one donate, a single individual? How many times can you donate blood in a year? Okay, um, for the male, after three months. Every three months. Every three yeah. months. So then we're looking like, a four, like four, four times, times in a year. year. Four times okay. Yes, then for women, after four months. After four months, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, um, recently, during this World Blood Donor Day celebration, mm -hmm. an individual, Mr. Nathan, mm -hmm. was appreciated, was recognized. He donated the 75th time this, last, this week. 75th? 75 times in a span of 18 years. Wow. And he's just 40, I think 41 or so years old. Wow. Yeah. That's a bridge builder. Yes. Yes. I, I, I wish we knew this. I brought him on to celebrate him as well. Well, Nathan, wherever you are, we celebrate you. Thank you for saving lives. And it's so important. Uh, as we try to, you know, wind up, you know, let, let's look at the, the quick steps that can be taken. Let's give assurance to you know, uh, to our um, our viewers. I haven't donated this year, but I, I was at some point a donor. Have you mm. donated this year? Yes, we donated. Last was in December. Okay. Yes, the police headquarters. Okay. Yes, I couldn't donate yesterday because of 
uh, issues. Okay, yes, yeah. okay, fantastic. Yeah. And uh, have you donated yourself? No, I was, I in fact, I was saving to donate <laughs> to be the first donor mm -hmm. for yesterday, but mm -hmm. unfortunately, women issues, okay. I couldn't okay. donate. Okay, okay, but I have been donating for all our drives, any yes. all our drives have been. In fact, the first drive we had, I was the first to donate because we want women to see, because women also feel they don't donate. Even me, before I started this, I never knew women donated. Could donate to yes. us, yeah. So I want women to feel free and know that even though you have monthly cycles, you'll be checked until you have your blood level high enough to donate. To donate you will not be, there will be no bleeding. Mm -hmm. So let let blood donation be normalized in our society. Mm -hmm. yes. Let it be a normal thing. It doesn't it doesn't have to we don't have to go begging and you know trying to convince people mm -hmm. come and donate. Let it just be like the way you dip your hands in your pocket and donate to some charity mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I want to donate blood when I when and where when okay. and where. Okay, well that is it. When and where. Yes, yeah, so and I have my own card. There's a card every time you donate mm -hmm. it is written here. Okay. So I have the card. I couldn't come in here, I would have shown. Yes, yes my last donation was in December. Fantastic. Yes. So right now the next drive. I will surely donate and okay. i've been telling my colleagues and friends donate life donate to save life like because whoever who donates is a hero really mm -hmm. people who donate blood are heroes well wow, fantastic mm -hmm. so yes okay we would we'll continue to drive this because this is our own contribution to uh, ensuring that nigerians uh come out and donate blood voluntarily and i always say it every year in and out that the blood you might be donating might just be the blood that will save your life or the lives of people around you and anyway the thing about it is that not every blood would go you know because it's an advantage you get tested. Yeah. Some people discover their status, their health status, yes. even yeah, from Free going checkup. yeah, yes. yeah, your checkup. So how it's important that we donate blood every time. And thank God you can donate blood four times a year for a healthy Nigerian and three times for the woman, you know, because of the things that we need to do. But let me just let you know how special blood is again. And I'm quoting this from the uh, I mean from from the scientists themselves. Who they said are blood carrying cells and antibodies that fight infection. That's how powerful blood is, and that's why we should be able to donate. So, bringing waste products to the kidneys and liver, which filter and clean the blood. So, while the normal circulation around the body needs the blood, you know, to go around, and it says, I like this one regulating body temperature. Mm -hmm. People don't, yeah, you know, people yes. look at these things as mundane, but if your blood is working well and you have enough you find that that it, it, it improves your health status okay. so before we we round up on today um let's start from from the little yes. commander time yeah what, what are your what are your parting shots i'll still say donate blood to save lives because if you save a life we know heroes we talk about heroes when you save lives you are a hero so please be a hero out there and save lives please donate blood do not wait until you have to. Because before my daughter's diagnosis, I never had, in fact, I've never even seen my, see myself close to anything like that. But once, once it started, it was a roller coaster. So don't wait for something bad to happen to you. Give out, help people, donate blood. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take long. Go out and donate. And there are centers, yes, and there are centers yes, there where are you centers. can, yeah, 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 it's so important. Um, thank you, thank you for sharing your experience with us. And, um, you know, may her soul continue to rest in peace. Mm -hmm. But that has stimulated us, you know, to be drivers of world, vol I would say, voluntary blood donors. Because uh, until you do that voluntarily, you never, you never can say when you would need it. But the important thing is for you to know that blood is an essential. I want to thank you for being part of this. Uh, we'll, 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 you'll, you'll see on the screen there uh, how you can join the 3 a.m. group to ensure that uh, blood donation is a constant in your life. And, you know, don't keep the message to yourselves alone. Share it. Boys, girls, women, 
young and old can indeed donate blood. That blood will save lives. Thanks for watching. This is Bridges. We'll be back sometime next week.